Okay, guys and girls, quick diagnostic video for those that want to learn. Just to give you some history on this one, it's a 2008 120 Prado with uh, about 250,000 Ks on it. It's one we did injectors on, oh, I don't know, about a year ago, a bit over a year ago. So to give you an idea what a year and 20,000 K injectors are once everything's settled in um, and what we normally sort of say anyway, so it's no different to that. You can see the load reading is moving around the 12, 12 and a half, 13 mark. Nothing wrong with that. It's a good indicator, but you know, a lot of these readings, you need to check them out comparing them to each other. So this, let's just go back to the top. This is at full operating temp. See the coolant temp there? 85 degrees, right, right there. Okay, so let's go down. The injection volume on a 1KD FTV, right? With a uh, with a five-speed auto, because they do vary, the manual will be less. It's going to be down around five or something like that. Okay, injection volume at the top there, about six and a half. That's good. Um, feedback for idle. Oh, don't worry about that. Let's move down to the individual feedback for these. One, two, three, four. These are not the everything about the injector. This is not a rating on how good the injectors are or not. It's quite simply. Um, uh, individual feedbacks whether it's adding or subtracting fuel see the minus before it subtracting fuel uh number two and three adding fuel number three well three is perfect it's not adding or subtracting so in a perfect world they'd all be on zeros but you know i'm trying to tell you that it doesn't matter if it says one or something one point whatever or it's not the end of the world and this is a 120 prado from 09 where the 150s came out and same vintage hiluxes these hardly move you've got to have a big problem to see a problem so you can't rely on diagnostics on the later vehicles which is why we give you that ballpark seven year 170k replacement recommendation all covered in our other videos as to why there's so many reasons to back that up pilot one and two always around the 430 mark you can see one of them's jumping around a little bit to about 450 nothing wrong with that main injection period around the 6 650 fives you know mid fives Main injection period does jump around a bit, as long as it's not jumping around too much, and as long as it's in this sort of range is really good readings. Now, let's have a look at the timing, so then you know what normal timing is, a little bit further down, right? You can see pilot one, about 20, pilot two, about 14, and main injection timing around, you know, around about there, so just all normal sorts of readings. They're gonna vary, every equal's gonna vary a little bit, but this is all the normal stuff you're gonna see, and this is why, Load's a really important one, as I've said before, because the load here, you know, right, you know what we're talking about, this one here, the load, right, 12.5%, right, and some people said, oh, what does it mean? Look, let's just keep it simple. As you add a load onto the engine, it's going to go up, it, you know, so basically, you, I'll give it a bit of accelerate, right, I'm creating a load, I'm accelerating, right, okay, here we go, I'll put it in drive, I'll put the vehicle in drive, there's a load up to 20, okay, right, back into park, so we're in neutral, let me turn the aircon on. Compressor cuts in about 20. We'll turn that fan down. That's nice and cool, but making a lot of noise. Okay, uh, if I put it in drive as well as having the aircon on, look at that load up to 30. Massive amount of difference. Small things make a big difference. So I can tell you categorically, this is going to be the case in most vehicles, but particularly these vehicles, this is what we know well. The load is a massively important reading and it's one small reading that gives you a big picture. If that's going up to 18 and you haven't got your aircon on, you've got some big problems. Now, the readings are different in the 150 Prado. I've said it before and I'll say it again. In a 150 Prado or a Hilux from around, you know, September 09 onwards when the injectors changed with an automatic and the, the different autos are a bit different and the manuals are a bit different. so. You know, there's a, you've got to watch all the videos and all the diagnostic videos where I'm going to be more specific about each one. Whichever vehicle we've got in front of us, that's the data I'm going to give you. But I've noticed on these videos, not a lot of people watch them. So that's probably why you keep misdiagnosing, thinking you need injectors when you don't, or thinking you can rely on diagnostics when you can't, or thinking that your load's high at 16 when it's normal, because you've got your... You've got your your numbers mixed up with a different vehicle, if you know what I mean. So I'll tell you again, this is a 120 Prado, five-speed auto is the most popular. So that's what we've got here. That's what we're going to talk about. Ideally, 
new injectors are going to be around 11 percent i'll turn the aircon off again although it's getting nice and cool in here i'd like to leave it on right sometimes you'll see 10 or 11 manuals you're going to see eight or nine that's when things are good now back to the auto when it gets up to 15 16 anything over 16 you need to replace the injectors subject to we need to look at the other readings as well and compare but most likely 99.9% .9 of the time when you see that load reading go up to say 16 or you know everything else it, everything else goes up you'll see that main injection period the um, injection volume everything will sort of go up on par with the calculate load reading okay so hopefully that's helpful for you your range for the 120 auto 11 through to about 16 okay the manual take off about three so let's say eight for new injectors through to about 13 kind of thing you know what i mean remember aircon off no accessories no flat batteries that have got your alternator working hard no dual batteries that are getting charged up because you've got a big freezer running because the load on the alternator can add load to the engine and it changes that reading there's it only takes small things if i was to go out there and put my boot against the pulley on the drive belt and create a resistance that load is going to go up even with a light amount of pressure I'm not saying that's the wise thing to do or I'd, I'm just another dumb idea where how I'd come up or just come up with to explain how much a small load would make a difference and change it um, on that calculate load reading now so we pretty well covered the 120s in the manual and the auto okay because they they're all the 120s and 1kds had either a five-speed auto or a six-speed manual so we might as well go into the Prado 150s most of them are the five-speed auto Quite often you're going to see 14.9, 15.2, 14.9, 15.2. If you've done 200,000 Ks, your injectors are not okay, but you'll probably still see that reading. Different system, can't rely on diagnostics. Now, um, you might see 12.9, you might see 13.7. That's all okay too. You might even see 16 point something. That's okay too in a 150 Prado, okay? Um, once you start to see over 18, 17, 18, you've probably got a problem and it might only need to be 18 or 19 and you've got a pretty big problem that's the difference it's a massive difference in these two systems i'd hate to be trying to nut out exactly when there's a problem with all brands and makes and models of diesels and engines because it's hard enough to understand the 1kd with a few different uh you know variations of uh, transmissions and stuff like that i mean using the load reading because it's very important quite often i've explained before you can look at the whoop you can look at the individual feedback values. Let's go back to those for a minute. And everybody says, and it'll have done 400,000 Ks. Oops, went too far. It would have done 400,000 Ks and they'll go, oh, look, they're okay. They're only, you know, no. Because all your other readings, your load and your main injection and your injection volume, it's throwing all this fuel in. The only thing they're telling you is the individual, right? So if you've got a much bigger problem with one injector than the other, then you're going to see the, the the subtracting or adding fuel, right? If if they're evenly flogged, they're going to be all adding. You know, they're all going to be. It's, you know what I mean? They're even, if you know what I mean. So all your injectors are wearing, and very rarely does it always show up in these one, two, three, four individual readings. So don't rely on it. You know, I see people for years going places, getting cars checked and whatever the case may be. And, uh, you know, they're getting only the individual feedback readings uh, looked at. It's just not the right way to be looking at things. So let's quickly go over it again. The most important readings, okay? So you can go and educate anyone you need to go to for help. Coolant temp on full operating temp there, at, you know, at 84. We're looking at the load reading up the top here. Load's an important one. Then we're going to go down to injection volume that's this one here six on a 150 prado auto it's going to be around about the eight or nine you know thereabouts so of course the load's higher the fuel injection volume is higher okay now the other one we're going to be looking at so i don't want to confuse you too much talking about different cars which is why i normally try and talk about this these numbers in this video and i'll talk about the numbers of a 150 prado in a 150 prado video if you know what i mean but I've tried to include both in this video, so hopefully that's been helpful. See the main injection period there? At the bottom there, right? Bottom line now. That's the third. One, two, and three. Load, injection volume in main injection period is what I'm looking at on a 120 Prado. On a 150, all I'm really going to have a quick look at is the feedback values in case there's something catastrophic going on. But rarely, or if ever, do you see them go out. I can see the wear on. They're flogged. They blow smoke. They get noisy. They need to be replaced. 
based on averages in my opinion as i said the guide is seven years 170 if they're full dlc's you're going to get more k's out of them but look you know i had a guy the other day sixty thousand k's eight years i said well and it's knocking and rattling and whatever so it's like well you know what injectors fix noises so you know as much as it sounds like and not the sitting around thing is not so good anyway guys trying to keep it short that's your diagnostics video please give us the thumbs up or the like if you got something of that helping to get you educated and subscribe turn the bell on don't forget to watch out look check out our playlist guys playlists if you want to know about injectors go have a look at our playlist see what the headings of the subjects are watch all the videos in the playlist and just to confuse you a little bit i've just hit the uh i've just hit that auto button again to turn the compressor on and see the main injection period even goes up close at around 700 everything changes guys everything changes with a bit of load right anyway i'm out of here thanks for watching guys see ya